Hello, welcome to episode 30 of our Ostrov Alpha 4 Let's Play. It is October of 1748. We did a little bit of decorating and improvements in the last episode. Planted this reforestation area. We did a little bit of decorating generally just around a couple different places. Put a hedge here, put some windmills, and uh, just a few little finishing touch type things on a couple areas. And we also found a very annoying glitch that uh, these trees will uh, apparently never be planted. So we'll, we'll see if that gets fixed after bug reports and all that good stuff. But uh, for episode 30, I want to do something cool. I haven't really quite figured out exactly what that might be, but I think it is a good idea to start with planting some more trees. Although I wish wish we could actually do that. We can't because they haven't even finished planting these. So that will have to wait. But, you know, what doesn't have to wait is some bushes. And there's all sorts of places we could be putting bushes. I put some here, and generally we could fill in this a little bit more. But right here, this, uh, this little stretch right here, the back side of these two houses, could definitely be improved with the addition of some bushes. So that's what we're going to do. Just be clicking up a storm with these things. Oh, that one's got some, uh, some actual fruit on it. Very nice. So while we're doing this, I thought it would be a good idea to have a little chat about what you guys want to see from the rest of this Let's Play series. We had a similar chat around episode 20, episode 21 of accomplishing more or less everything we wanted to do. Don't worry, I'm not stopping this Let's Play series. We're going to keep going until I get extremely bored of this. But we're at the point now where the town is a little bit more built out. And it's worth asking, is there anything specific you guys want to see? I know a couple of you have had different ideas as far as some things that could be built other places. I know a lot of you want to see more expansion over here, down here another market, more schools, stuff like that, and we'll get there eventually. But that's already just a little bit of an improvement having the, uh, the hedges right there. Now I've seen in some other people's worlds uh, screenshots and stuff they've shared on social media, I've seen a lot of similar stuff to like what I've got going on right here with these trees kind of separating areas. And to some extent we've done that with some of these uh, areas right here with different trees on the walkways and kind of like especially right around here how these trees are delineating these walkways right here and then over here with this street so I want to do more of that type of stuff but uh, until we get the whole tree planting thing fixed I, uh, I don't think we're really gonna get too far there somebody did suggest in one of the comments in the previous video to have them try and cut down an existing spruce tree or two since those are the default on the map and see if maybe that resets the forestry workers to do something I don't know so it doesn't hurt to go ahead and cut down a couple of them anyway now this area right here is quite honestly a complete mess in terms of a uh, path organization and it'll improve a little bit up here just by virtue of having these additional buildings right here which by the way are still waiting for metal parts and I believe we had some imported or some on the way at least oh no nothing right nothing right now but we will uh, we will get there and of course this smithy will be making metal parts just as fast as they can so this area will gradually improve uh, I was gonna remove these windmills and maybe talk about relocating this cow shed pasture because that will give this this really nice large area here and I think I want to continue this general mood right here with this all the way down here to the bridge because it does tend to line up extremely well with that. And I think that would be a good goal to work toward eventually. But for now, we can't really get rid of too much of this. But you see how these go almost straight up and then, of course, go around to different places. This one is actually... That could have been a wagon being delivered. No? Oh, so there's two in here. 
So, you know, we're making progress. It's just incredibly painfully slow. So I think if we can actually get rid of this windmill, we can, I don't want to destroy resources. We're just going to make this empty. And then we can demolish. And then we can go ahead, it won't be perfect, but we can extend this just a tiny bit. While they're doing that, we can find our favorite best friend, Big Arch 2, so eloquently named. Come up here and line this up roughly. And then again down here. Again, it's, it's not perfect, but nobody ever said it had to be. Right? That's going to be our motto here. And then we'll come right here, like so. Come all the way down here. Ah, oh, there go the dots again. That is really irritating how that seems to uh, pop up, but eh, whatever. It's not game-breaking, it's just ugly. Oh, I can't put a fence there because it's too short. Well, then I'm assuming we probably can't do this either. Oh, it actually let me do that. That's very uh, weird. Anyway, we'll just we'll just kind of leave that alone. Wish I could plant more trees. I can't, but that is the next link in a little way of doing this. And then, of course, we can go ahead and get rid of that. And then we can continue to extend it down here. So what this will allow us to do is right here in front of the town hall, it doesn't line up perfectly, but then again, what does, right? So this area, pretty much this entire thing right here can be turned into a town square of sorts. And uh, we'll figure out exactly what we're going to put where. But I think since we have this whole cross section right here, and this will be relatively important, if we have the opportunity to Go ahead and kind of fence this off. Actually, let's see first. Are they selling metal parts? They are, so we're going to go ahead and buy. Sell some sunflower oil. You know the drill by now. Horseshoes we can sell. Salt we can sell. Hemp will go ahead and buy. Honey we have plenty. Textile I will go ahead and buy. We'll, we'll figure out textile supply at some point. So let's come in here with our fence. And keep in mind we have this right here. I'm going to extend this pretty much all the way out here. Kind of box this in just a little bit. Then I'll come in here with our big arch. Unless, of course, it doesn't fit. Oh, it's going to fit. But we have to get this stack of resources somewhere else. So we'll just have them... Uh, Come collect all that. You know, maybe actually for the sake of this looking a little better, we can uh, put the archway kind of in the middle here. Yeah, that might actually be better. So we'll go ahead and do one of those. Then bring this fence right the way over here. Then again, over here, just have that go more or less straight over. All right, so there is a little fence right there and that will help corral some of this traffic away. And what we can go ahead and do is not completely close this area in, but we can go ahead and put a little fence you know, just coming out like this to try and encourage people to go specific ways. So with that being there, this gives us an area right here where we can put a lovely gazebo. You know how much I love these things. I put them everywhere. Put a gazebo right there. And then, of course, some benches as well. Just right outside the gazebo. We can actually... We'll put a bench right there. And a bench kind of right there. And of course, since this is going to be a little landscaped area, we can come by with the dog rose bushes. I I so badly want to have more trees over here, but 
It appears it's not to be. So we'll come into this side. Of course, maybe we'll fix the other things eventually. But we'll come over here and just put some bushes down on this side. That gazebo is rapidly being constructed. Just like so. Place is occupied. Well, not for long. So now we have some bushes there. That will, as I push the wrong buttons, that will help that just a tiny bit. And once we can have more trees placed, then we'll take care of that. But already that's helped our traffic flow so much. And we'll, we'll see results gradually as this starts to get a little bit more developed here. So that's fixing that area right there. I am going to go ahead and bring a fence out this way. There's actually no reason for anyone to be going here, so we can have this connect. No, nope, not quite there, I guess. Have it connect right there. Too long. Oh, it is just barely too long. So we'll come here. Right like that. Then we'll come right over here. If I can line this up correctly. And we'll bring this right here. And that should put us in a perfect position. If I can get that to go away. To put another big arch number two. Right here. Yeah, that's, I know, it's, it's, it's another straight line. People are going to get real mad about it, but that is all fine and dandy. You are free to build as you so choose. And I happen to like things to have straight lines, at least in this general part of the town. So we're going to have this come all the way down here. And then, we of course, we hit these uh, hay dryers and everything. But what we're also going to do, take this fence, come right about, right about here. I want to match this side here. So we'll just call it this fence post is close enough. We'll come down to here. We'll leave a little space. How about a small arch for a little bit of variety? We'll put that guy right here. If I can get the thing to line up correctly. Yeah, we'll put that right there so they can access these things, and then we'll bring the other fence right the way down here. And I think I should be able to get this to come most of the way down here. So we'll, we can actually leave that right there, then put another archway. Big arch number two, you know what it is. Mm, that is so close. Actually, that's perfect right there. And of course, come in here with our fence and just put this here to persuade people. Actually, that is not quite in the correct spot. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that and we'll try again. We'll start from the edge of this bridge right here. Maybe if it will let me. Is it not going to let is it really not going to let me build here? Mmm, that is a disappointment. So how far out can I go? So they're really they're really gonna Oh, it's snowing. So I didn't realize the the water was that far away. I thought we were in good shape. Well, We'll just drag that way down there. That should prevent most people from doing that and go through here instead. So now we've created some interesting stuff. And this also right here gives us the opportunity to have not a completely straight line, but we can, we can do something a little bit more interesting here. And then I think if I can put an archway here, Mm, it's going to be close. Have that a little bit off center. There we go. That adds just a little bit of variety to it right here. 
And that will also help clean up a lot of these things in this general area. And now this gives us the opportunity here to think what else do we want to put in here? There's room for a few more production buildings. Could possibly do some warehouses. I think we might need to put a warehouse in for metal parts. What do you think? So, eh, I need to get my grid back. Get my grid back. There we go. Alright, so right up here in this corner would be a perfect place, in my opinion, to put a warehouse. Maybe leave a little bit of space around it. Right there. And this can be for nails and metal parts, because that's right next to a smithy. Should be just fine. Oh, they're building a wagon. They're actually, you know, doing their jobs. So this has still does not have a third wagon. This one has two. This one still has none, so they are progressing slowly but surely. As far as this is looking, we actually have the ability now to... Oh, they still have draft horses to use. So I think they'll need four or five. They have three here. So we'll go ahead and make sure we don't kill a breeding age male, but we can do a female. And we'll do one more female, and that should be all the ones that they're going to need. I wish I could plant more trees. This is going to be so nice having this just a straight line of wonderful looking trees right there. Happy little trees, etc. for all of the people that liken me to Bob Ross. Alright, so metal parts. Again, our capacity for these is only 10,000. Make sure we want to check all of these. We're going to go ahead and set this to 2,000 metal parts. And then we'll also do nails to the tune of... Eh, we won't go 8,000. We'll go, we'll go 5,000 nails. And then we can do horseshoes as 3,000. Oh, we're never going to make that many, but that will allow us to have things relatively close to the smithy so they can, you know, actually do their thing. Of course, we'll hit that again. We'll hit that again as well. Things are looking quite good. Now, I did want to do something real quick. Someone commented suggesting that maybe I don't have these settings turned on for my granaries for the, uh, the supply by, etc. So let's just double check that real quick. They are all turned on. If I hit apply to all, it's gonna apply them to everything. So that will be set up correctly if it wasn't already. So if I missed anything, that will fix that. Sunflower oil will sell you 2000 here. Sallow, I didn't know I was exporting that, but I guess we can now. Onions again, very good. Raspberries, a thousand again. Flour, two thousand. Very good. Dried fish, we can go ahead and import some. We are making it, but it seems like we don't ever quite make enough. So hopefully soon these paths will start to clean up just a little bit. And I think to complete this area right here, we should try and match this curve. So let's go ahead and do that. It won't be perfect. There's only so much I'm able to do with the uh, restrictions this place is on me here. Well, if we follow roughly, come over here, do something similar. If I can get another small archway in here, we'll put it right here and then we'll connect there. Spin that around. It doesn't have to completely match, but it does look a little nicer when it does, I think. So we'll connect these two right there. All right, and now, people traveling this way do this little kink right here. Create a little bit more visual interest. And now we have this area down here that will be separated as well. And I think for right now until I relocate hay dryers, this is a pretty good start. They are in the process of actually filling those up, so we'll leave those alone for now. Oh, look at all these trade boats coming and going. That is 
trade at work. But somebody did suggest down here in this graveyard that we put a chapel. I know I looked at a church and we didn't have room in here for a church. But if I just get the grid back real quick. A small chapel could be just the thing to put in here. I think in the corner we have enough room for two or I could just put one right here at the edge here. I think the one at the edge might be the way to go. Two would be a little busy, but the one right here I think would fit quite nicely with the atmosphere and the feel we have going on here. And again, it's still going to be quite a while before we have to build more burial plots. But things are progressing so nicely. Even in the time that we've been working on all this up here, I think this is going to be a tremendous improvement. And it's going to take a while for the paths to uh, reorient themselves, so to speak. But progress is progress, they say. Now right here, as soon as this windmill goes away, this actually would be a good place and time to get rid of that. And then eventually we will figure out where a cow shed pasture can go elsewhere. Or we could honestly turn a lot more of this area into a cow shed pasture, just depending on how we're feeling. But now, just to kind of complete this general area, we should connect these right here. Complete our little thoroughfare. We'll go all the way from the corner of actually we can uh, we can match this no that's not gonna work come on well you can't ever say I uh, spend my time in my videos polishing all of my mistakes off with editing now why does that say place is already occupied is that because the place is already occupied I know that's a million dollar question I think the closest we're going to be able to get is to put a fence right there. Yeah, that'll be close enough. So we'll come in here with big arch number two. Maybe not quite yet. Because we have to wait for them to demolish this. And of course, before they do that, they have to go down here to our graveyard and build a chapel. And they say they're waiting on nails. Well... They can't possibly be waiting on that many nails unless we are out of iron, which I didn't seem to consider. Oh, well, they don't have enough iron, and they don't have enough iron, so you know what that means. It is time to call a trader. I think these guys usually have iron. We'll find out. Our messenger is on the way. So they're on the way. We can shift this around and they can deconstruct. I don't think they get any nails when they de- oh, they do. They do actually get nails. So that is a convenient development. Go ahead and make that empty, put that somewhere. So now we can come in here with our big arch, hook this right up, come in here with fence number four like we love to do, and then eventually we'll, you know, do the rest of this. All right, so we'll put that fence there. And now we have a little bit more structure to this area. Some of you might say I've ruined it by just making it square, and others of you may appreciate the organization. Well, no matter what your thoughts are, I think it's great. Should be a lot of fun. So let's check these guys. They do have iron, so we're going to make quick work of ordering 2,000 from them. And while we're here, we'll sell some stuff. 580. We really have to get our... Our numbers up on clothes, those are rookie numbers. Gonna have to pump those numbers up. Nail wise, yeah, I don't want to buy nails. But now, this is such a huge improvement over here. And again, I wish I wish I could get more trees. That is just such a weird, weird glitch. And it won't even let me place any trees over the top of them either because it's too close to another tree. And I can't chop the trees down because they're not they're not trees, it's not gonna let me do that. So our chapel is done. Let's follow this weird little white line all the way down here. And someone's already using it. That's exactly what we want to see. So there wasn't a religious building on this side of the town at all until I built that church. And now there's a chapel. 
And if our citizens have a need to go visit a chapel or a church, they can now go down here, save themselves a trip. That's convenient. So let's see, what else can we do in today's episode to try and somewhat polish this off here? I think I do need to adjust this fence just a little bit. It's not quite oriented the right way. So we'll come right here. Then we will actually bring this in just a tiny bit more to kind of pull toward that bridge. Again, nothing is perfectly straight, but that's fine. There is no harm with that. All right, so that is just a tiny bit better. You may not even notice, but uh, I do. And that's part of the fun. Yeah, so they're taking this S curve in stride. And they're making quick use of these other paths up here. And I think this is going to be quite fantastic. So we do have time in the rest of today's episode to plant some more bushes and create some more appealing little paths here. So we will go ahead and do just that. Now, some of you who are familiar with some of my other Let's Plays, especially the Ostrov Alpha 3 one, the second one, might remember that we only ever really did about 35 episodes of it. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. And at that point, I had abandoned the series because we'd reached a thousand. I felt like there was not really much more I could be doing. And here we are, episode 30. We're only at 622. Well, there's still a ton more I want to do in the game. And I think this slightly slower, more methodical approach that we're taking in this Let's Play is much more conducive to enjoyable viewing and to enjoyable playing as well. It doesn't feel like quite as much of a grind. And I'm able to take the time to enjoy the game and think more about stuff instead of just, you know, cramming houses anywhere on the map they'll fit. Just to say I have a Ostrov town that had five... 5,000. Wow, that would have been really something to have 1,000 people in it. Come to find out, that's not even the biggest one people do. Is this game really going to crash on me like this? And we're back. We have lost about four or five minutes worth of work, which is quite annoying. Including all of those bushes I just placed in this as well, so we're just gonna get right back to it. The uh, the crashes do get quite irritating after a while. If I can even select this fence, there we go. Well, as I was saying, the uh, 30 some episodes I did of that at times kind of felt like a chore that I needed to just get it done for the sake of getting it done. But you'll be happy to know that. This one is feeling a lot more enjoyable to me. And I think it's uh, going to be a lot more fun for you guys as well with higher quality content than just, well, I guess I have to do another video on this and I can't just time skip because that would be boring. No, this, this one's different and I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying making these. Maybe we'll get another update soon with uh, all the meads and the sheep and everything. I think that would be a really fun thing to play with. But for now, I'm content and happy to play with what we've got. So we'll, we'll do these bushes again. Hopefully it won't crash on us. I don't remember Alpha 3 crashing quite so much. But this shouldn't take us too long to get right back to where we were. Okay. All right, so now we have our little country lane with bushes everywhere. That is looking fantastic. And there is a fence piece missing here. No, no, you can't cut through here. You have to go through these little archways like everyone else. Now, before I forget, we are going to save again. Let's see, there you go. Corrupted save file. All right, so that has been saved. So I think to round out today's episode, we'll do 
a little bit more of these bushes. Then we'll take a look at some of the other stuff we've accomplished, and then I'll get you guys out of here, because I'm sure you have all sorts of other stuff to do with the rest of your day. I appreciate you taking just a small slice of it out to share this experience with me. It's always appreciated, and I enjoy getting to play a very small part in each and every one of your lives every time you come and watch a video. Just a little connection, things like that makes it a lot of fun to post videos when you know people on the other end are enjoying them. So thank you to everyone who's always so supportive and giving me suggestions and ideas and feedback, positive and constructive, it all helps. So we'll go ahead and we'll just get this done right here. And then I think we will call it a day. Just a little bit of decoration here. This will also help dress up the back side of this little cart shed thing. All right, and there we go. Some things have been moderately beautified. Again, there's only so much you can do with a limited palette of stuff, but let's check out and see what these guys are wanting. Of course, you can always buy sunflower oil from me, and salt, and horseshoes as well. Hemp, don't mind if I do. Metal parts, don't mind if I do. Wheat, yeah, don't mind if I do. We'll use that. But look at this. Now this whole area up here is ever so slightly more organized, should be a little bit less chaotic and hopefully contribute to a kind of, I don't know, a central organized feel. We will do more stuff around here for the town, town square type area here. I, I, I just, I have to be able to plant more trees for that. And I, I know this is most of what we did today was decorating, but we did have this warehouse that we're storing all of our smithy things in. So that is a positive help. And of course, our little chapel in the graveyard here. A nice, peaceful, serene escape for prayer, meditation, whatever the religious in Ostrov do. It's not really specified what religion they're following, but I would assume it has something to do with some form of Christianity based on historical stuff or Eastern Orthodoxy. I'm actually not too well versed in that. But well, whatever they need to do, they can now do down here. All right, so these people want, they want something. So we'll do that to them, and then that'll be it for this episode, and we will come back at the next time. But there's going to be a whole ton of imports and stuff coming. I'm just, I'm so pleased with this. I think this is fantastic. We are making such wonderful progress. And I think it's, it's really something we can be proud of. And yes, you helped, even if you just watched. Your motivation that you've been giving me has been a very, very helpful thing in getting me to focus on ways to challenge my building ideas and different things. So thank you for being part of it. It's so much fun. Well, that's all the time we've got for today. We'll see you in the next video.